Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. He's going to win today. He's going to have to get some help from Randy Moss. What kind of performance is he going to put forth today? Goodness only knows. Yeah, time to show them bitches who the man. Give me head strong. Give me head strong. Time to show them bitches who the man. Give me head strong. I right, welcome back YouTubers and Mad Fans, Mad Money Shot. There he is, Randy Moss, the boss. This guy right here, man, he's got to be the must-have card in this game, in my opinion, right now. If you don't have him on your team, um, and I know maybe he's expensive. I just recently saw him. He's selling for close to half a mil now because a lot of people are trying to get the new cards. A lot of times, old cards will drop in price regardless of how good they are. Uh, try to get him, man. If there's a card out there you're trying to get, forget about it. you got to go out and get Randy Moss. I mean, he is just so good in this game. You're going to see exactly why in this game. I want to I want to say he bails me out. But he really doesn't bail me out. In this game, he's just, you know, I just use him right. So here we go. First drive, third and 18. This is not going my way, man. First play was a loss. Second play was an incompletion, even though I thought I had it. And then third play, I get a five-yard penalty and get sacked. Boy, that escalated quickly. So, punt it away, because, <laughs> you know, fourth and 24, man, I just feel like the Browns when I see something like that. So, first play, I give this guy great field position because I was losing yards, and then he gets a big run from the Dan Thomas. And this guy here got like a 90-plus squad easy. Um, you know, if you saw his first couple cards, I mean, he had Sean Taylor. No, another card, I wish I could get Sean Taylor. I have some good safeties, though. I can't complain about uh, what Cam and Atwater do. I love those guys. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't trade them for the world right now anyway. But uh, who wouldn't take Sean Taylor? I, w I really wish they bring back the oops middle linebacker Sean Taylor. He wasn't middle linebacker. He's an outside linebacker. But I hope they bring back the oops Sean Taylor linebacker. He will be my guy. Um, absolutely loved him last year uh, if they bring him back. But either way, so here we go. He's got ball now, and he's going backwards, third and 18. These defenses right now are just punching each other in the mouth. Um, as you can see, he's got to take those points, which is a win for me because I gave him a great field position to start. He was almost in my territory, and then he basically um, just took a couple couple extra yards on the carry and, and there you go so here we go first and ten i gotta make some points i gotta make some yards uh that first drive did not work out well so i go with one of my drive stars this play right here surprised that wasn't he didn't make a play on that surprised my dude didn't at least drop it i mean that's tony gonzalez another dude i'm probably gonna make a video about that guy hit a, hit the like button i got some really interesting gameplay footage of him uh there i had the x button down the line but uh, i basically playmaker vic uh, not vic i basically playmaker the running back up so i could take off with vic uh sometimes when i don't i'm not making good reads i kind of just just get a little gun shot. But in, in retrospect there, I would have had X on a really big play um, if I would have if saw it. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't make a, a video about Vic yet either. I'm going to make a video about this guy. I like making Vic, uh, videos about individual cards, individual players. Uh, if you guys agree, hit the like button. I like to do some, uh, some funny stuff in the beginning. Uh, you know, make some specific stuff geared towards some great cards. Here on a, a key third and three, I have a play where I'm basically crossing everybody. And you can see there, um, the big play was open down the middle because the, the users typically, if it's like third and short, they'll typically try to sit on the shorter routes and that lets the, the deeper routes go. So second and nine. We're moving around a little bit too much with Vic. I mean, there, I, mean, that, I probably should have threw that earlier from the pocket. Probably got that catch and run. Here, third and two. Sit in the pocket now. Stepping up. That's why you need a guy like Vic. I love Vic, too, man. I love my team as a whole. You know what I'm saying? For people that don't play mud out there, if you watch this and you don't play mud out there, you really got to start. You know what I'm saying? If you play CFM, I mean, I know how CFM is. You know, you, you fall in love with your team. You see, I score a touchdown here with Reek. Tariq Cohen, you know what I'm saying? That dude is an absolute monster card. Only an 84 overall. He's like 10 grand. That's another guy you've got to have. He's definitely my best running back. Between him, uh, Randy Moss, Michael Vick, I just got speed for days. So here, this guy hits me with a nice cover two play. Uh, Warren Moon, um, not the best quarterback. I mean, it's a good quarterback, you know what I'm saying? But he's not mobile. And I think at times you're going to see where, the, where mobility would have been nice. Uh, Michael Vick, I don't know what. People were complaining about Michael Vick uh, having a lack of accuracy early in the year. I, I have not noticed that. Since I've had Michael Vick, I've not noticed any any sailed balls, nothing. You know what I'm saying? He's 100% accurate. I had guys like Mariota, uh, who was complete trash, who couldn't throw a five yard out. Um, he was only the A6 version, but there's guys like that 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 really aren't accurate, and I can't say that I, I've noticed that. So this guy here is working his offense pretty good. First and 10, um, so, you know, seven to three, I'll take that, but first and 10, he's getting down the field pretty quick on me. Every play he's doing is having some pretty good success. Uh, but, I mean, now he's running a hurry up too. But like I said, this guy's got a really good squad, so at some point, you know, sometimes you can't really just stop people you just have to to hold them and then when they get into a short field try to get a turnover and that's kind of my game plan here so second and six easily turns to third and six as you can see he doesn't get anything on that play and he's hitting his man out of the backfield here look at that nice hit stick but the guy falls over the line you know what I mean? if you, when you have 
good players, they, they, they get good plays out of it. Um, and you can see there, that's exactly what happens. I mean, t t Ladanian Tomlinson is, is a card. I can't wait till I max out my Ladanian Tomlinson. I'm only at 88. I just got him to an 88, I think. And I'm not even sure if that's with the chem boost or not. It might be with the, <laughs> it might be with the chem boost. I wasn't doing that from the beginning. So that was a big mistake by me. Um, there's still things about Mutt uh, that I'm not necessarily, you know, top dog at. Um, and I should have been on buying those cards or buying those packs from the beginning. But it is what it is. So, I mean, I'm only about a month away from having a 94 version. Uh, I might try to get Earl Campbell here just. To, to have some fun because that Earl Campbell card looks nasty. Uh, third and ten, you can see I get there a little, kind of a sack right there, and then he hits me with another corner. I've fallen over the line. Like I, I don't know if it's my fault if I should be hit sticking high, and maybe I would have been stopping him on these short yardages. It's probably my mistake, but I'm so used to hit sticking low because I get fumbles in on the next play uh, with only ten seconds left on the clock. Too, he bombs it up on, or he gets it over the top on me to the tight end. So it is what it is. I got five seconds left though. I'm gonna go ahead and try to bomb it up. This is a one play touchdown against cover three prevent. And I almost get it. That's the first. I had to put that play in there. Sometimes I'll just shave that stuff off. But I have, since I'm trying to show off Randy Moss, I had to leave, leave that in there. As you can see, he gets a really nice play. And then on the next play, I mean, look at the animations he's getting um, with LaDainian Tomlinson right now. I mean, the guy's having a good game. Seven carries, 59 yards. But come on, man. Like, he, he just busted through like, like <laughs> three or four tackles. Um, but, you know. Like I said, that's why you want cards like that. Hopefully, I'll get them at some point. First and 10, though, we're shutting it down the next play. Second and 10. Uh, I had definitely had my share of stops. And then here, look at that. I'm in the area. I just didn't get, I, you know, I tried to jump. I was a little bit short, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely sn snipped that out, and I just couldn't finish it. So, first and 10, I'm, I know he's going to run. And look at that, man. Look at, look at that over-pursuit by me, trying to hit stick at the last second. I mean, LaDainian Thomas' spin move in this game is, like, one of the like op moves like that's like the mp40 in like war to war like any any overpowered weapon in a game ladane tomlinson's spin move is like right up there as you can see he makes me miss again <laughs> i mean ladane tomlinson man I mean, he's got a better spin move in this game than barry sanders which is nonsense by the way i mean they need to they need to do something about that so there he tries that spin move again i mean if you have a guy i always go with the juke no matter who my running back is but if i ever get lt you better believe i'm gonna be hitting that spin button i'm gonna be putting people on a rinse cycle <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean i'm gonna be dropping spin moves like Kyrie Irving if I ever get the, the 94 LT which like I said I will eventually hopefully by Christmas uh, but not even um, so here we go he's hit me outside look at that spin move spin move spin move this guy is just spamming spin moves on me and we're just gonna bomb it out to my boy I mean this is why you get a card like Randy Moss look at the separation he got against cover four Yeah, actually, I'm not sure. I think I was covered three, but either way, uh, that play actually works against cover four, too. And I'm not sure if I actually use it against it in this game or not, but I have in the past. So there you go. We got a uh, one-point game. Uh, I'll take that. This guy here, he's still in business, though. 38 seconds left. Uh, I'm sending that house. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about I send a lot of house blitzes. I got no shame in my game when it comes to sending house blitzes. So here he's dropping back again. He throws it up. And who is it? My other my other favorite defensive player, Richard Sherman. Absolute beast. And here we go. He's, he's a little slow, though, but... Yes, he is. Best corner in the game, absolutely. My, my favorite corner in the game. And he's one of the few corners that I got that I could sell, but I just can't bring myself to do it. So there, next play, I get sacked, and that's the end of the, the quarter here. So I only lost a yard, though, because I was moving up. So here we're stepping out, and I don't know what I was saying, but I gave it right back. And, <laughs> and that's just like, oh, come on, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had an opportunity. I think this guy was close to quitting territory, and I had an opportunity to put the game away either way, and then I blow it. So here, he's going to go back to running because, you know, once you throw a pick on the last drive, you don't want to necessarily come back out throwing on the next drive so he comes out running a little bit uh this play here this is like you know he's not going anywhere you're gonna have to throw it like you know what i'm saying it, it, it's, it's to the point where i see that if i if i know that i had success at something in a previous drive i'm gonna make you go back to it so third and eight he's still running it which is out unbelievable you know what i'm saying fourth and four now he's gonna hurry up i don't know why i don't know what advantage he thinks he has or what he's seeing but uh, either way, I mean, this is, uh, you know, you, you ran it three straight times. This is your opportunity to get back into the game. Running the ball, you know what I'm saying? It's to the point where he's almost scared, I think, to throw the ball. And, I, and I'm sensing that. So here we go. We're sending another crazy blitz. Uh, it's basically just an, an overload on one side. And uh, I don't have the coverage that I want, and he gets the first down. Oh, you know, whatever. It happens. I'm not too worried about it, though. Um, it happens. You know what I'm saying? I still have some space here. Uh, two minutes, 30 seconds, though. I'm a little more worried about that because if he takes up all this time, and, uh, and I don't know why he's running a hurry up either. He should be being smarter with the, with the, with the play clock and uh, killing the clock on me a little bit. But, I mean, at the same time, you can tell if a guy doesn't have confidence in himself if he's running hurry up in this situation because this is a situation you don't want to run hurry up. So I get a little bit lucky. Um, it's not really lucky. I think it's the animation you get.
get when a guy is in the area. So he's going back to run the ball, and Richard Sherman stepping up again. This time in run covers, third and 12. You know what I'm saying? We're pushing him back uh, in a situation. I mean, he only needs one play, and he gets it right there. I was I was just about to come back, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just got sucked in a little bit on the outside route, and I didn't get back inside with Ray Lewis, and there you go. So here we go, first and 10. It's to the point where I think he knows he can't run the ball anymore. So now he's just basically dropping back here. I commit to this route, and luckily he didn't dot me up on the corner there. Uh, because I, I mean, I, I, I knew he had to go there because of the way he was running. He's running in that direction, so that was basically the most like or most likely receiver. Second and ten, I'm saying the house here. This is a mistake because if if it doesn't get home, you're you're in trouble, and it doesn't get home. <laughs> so he gets it outside, and I think he didn't want to score. He comes back in there at the last second, but uh, I dive for the shoestring. So I don't know if he was like, you know what, thinking I could I could basically um, kill clock on him. And there he tries to run in, doesn't get it. I call timeout. This is going to become the game now. Can I get the ball back, basically? Um, and I, he got too close. You know, there he doesn't get it again. Now I'm thinking I could probably hold him to a field goal, uh, which would be which would be good. But then here he just muscles it in. And uh, I'm down. I'm down a score. Uh, with uh, He's going for two here. This is the only time he ran this play the whole game, too, which I totally didn't expect. That's, that's great when you can save really good plays like that uh, for moments when you need it. And he beats me with it. So 21-14. And I still got that Randy Moss play. So we're rolling out. Cover four again. See you later. Here we go. Randy Moss over the top. Not as much separation this time, but it still works out. And look at that, man. That's all you need right there. Able to run as he shoots the moon to the fans. That's what you get for running cover four the whole game. This guy here, he sent me a message after like, oh, Randy Moss bailed you out. No, you running cover four the whole game bailed me out. I got to play for that. You know what I'm saying? You can't just sit in that noob ass cover four the whole time and think that it's going to work against everybody. You know what I mean? You beat yourself with that. Just because I didn't expose you with that cover four beater earlier doesn't mean I didn't have my back pocket when I needed it. So don't say that that was luck. It was not luck. It was your stupid ass coming out in the wrong thing over and over and over. So here we go. He's still got a chance. Third and ten, throwing it up. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the end of the that's the end of regulation right there. So he gets ball back to start second half and first play. This is probably why he wasn't running throwing the ball too much as you can see Richard Sherman. The best the game. That's right, baby. Richard Sherman sealing the game for me. Two picks. Let's go, baby. This guy's the man. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're gonna get. I made a, a, a gameplay video just about him the same way I did this gameplay video about Randy Moss. Um, I'll pop a link for that if you guys want to check that out. I thought it was a pretty good gameplay video. Uh, but here, I'm not going to throw this ball one time. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to basically run, 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 run. Same play. If I got to kick a field goal, I got to kick a field goal. The reason I didn't kick a field goal earlier is because you never know when it comes to, to that, uh, that CPU lag, that kick lag. So I basically just run it in just to be safe. And that's it. That's game, man. Like I said, dude hit me up with a bunch of angry voicemails or whatever, a bunch of angry messages but who cares man you just you, you beat yourself by not being more diverse on defense you got to be smarter than that and that's it if you guys want to see more gameplay footage do me a favor hit the like button i'll do that and that thanks for watching mad money shit out